Hi guys, this is the Creole Cajun Queen and I want to know what you're cooking, Chef. Today guys, I'm going to cook a stuffed catfish. I'm going to stuff a whole catfish. So I'm going to show you what I have here. I have a whole catfish and it's fully gutted. <laughs> fully gutted. And I have here the shrimp crawfish. I have bell pepper and onions. A little pork sausage. I have some melted butter, garlic powder, basil. I have a little Italian seasoning, breadcrumbs, Creole seasoning that I mix myself. You see my seasoning here. And I have some shrimp stock, lemon, and I made some greens to go under it. Okay. So, what we're going to do first, guys, is we're going to come over here and we're going to start cooking our ingredients, the stuffing, the mixture. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start laying in my bell peppers and onions. And you want a lot of seasoning. I cut up a whole yellow onion and a whole green bell pepper. Okay. And you just want your bell peppers and onions to fry down. I roughly chop the bell peppers and onions because I like my seasoning sometimes to pop. So that's why I didn't mix it down all the way. But if you choose to do so, that's fine. And I actually want to show you the stock. I boil my shrimp heads. It gives a great flavor for this dish. Okay. So I'm going to let that fry down a little bit. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of my pork sausage. It gives it a little flavor. You don't have to use pork sausage for this recipe. I will put this up on my YouTube page, Creole Cajun Queen. And you guys can follow it step by step. You can X out anything that you choose to. I just like the pork sausage and the stuffing for a little flavor. Now I have some crawfish and some shrimp that I cleaned. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm gonna throw a little bit of my garlic powder. I'm gonna put that in there. A little bit of the basil. Italian seasoning. And Creole Cajun Queens Creole Seasoning Mix. Okay. I'm just going to let that keep going there. And I'm going to give that a good toss. It does not take long for your seafood to cook. That's why you throw your seasonings in first. And remember, it's going to also bake in the oven because I'm going to bake the catfish. You can grill the catfish. You can actually fry the catfish, but I'm going to bake it. Okay. And I'm going to let that just cook down for a minute. 